Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So we talk about the two relevant scenarios here in this video. <clears throat> we talked already about it in the live stream. We talked about it in the core PCE live stream that we made today as well. Um, that probably due to the higher inflation, we would see some downside pressure. And actually, we do see that now. Yeah. Um, Bitcoin broke out of the range to the downside earlier today. And I think we have some clarity that um, at least we're not in the way for anymore. We, there are two scenarios that I'm following now. And um, the further down we come into this yellow support area, bear in mind, it's a yellow one because it's higher risk. It's not necessarily that clear that we will turn around here um, because losing that previous support indicates some weakness in the chart. Now, putting in here a WXY pattern in a wave two yeah, is this one two setup I talked about um, yesterday, the day before to prepare you for, you know, what happens if we drop out of this range, then we're heading into the next support area. And this could be a one, two setup. And in this wave two, if we turn around in this area and it would need to be above 22,184, then um, it can give us a third wave. It can give us, give us a fourth and a fifth wave. So key support levels here are 22,842. That's the 61.8 retracement that just found some support there. And the 78.6 retracement is at 22,184. If it drops below that 78.6 retracement, it um, will indicate that this one two pattern is most likely not going to work out. Until then, we could carefully assume that it will turn around in this area and will give us this extension. However, as I highlighted in the last videos, an extension in the fifth wave is not too likely. It's possible, we need to be prepared for it, but it's not too likely. The reason it's not too likely is because we have this five wave move since November and the third wave was extended. If the third wave is extended, then the wave one and the wave five often have a similar length. So it would rather not suggest an extension. What does that mean? That means the other scenario, which is now the second one, will also become very likely, which is the idea that if we drop below that 22,184 level, it's very simple. If we lose that level, it will increase significantly the probabilities that this five wave move, one, two, three, four, five, is already finished. Yeah, I spent a great deal of time in the last few videos uh, to say about, you know, to talk about technically this move to the upside could be finished. Yeah, we have five waves up, we reached the minimum expectations. It doesn't need to push any higher to give us a five wave move. It gave us a five wave move. The only reason really, or the only um, the only way to push higher is obviously not to, to avoid to lose support now. It can move higher. In fact, it would be quite likely to move higher, but it can be finished. So this is then typically an area where risk increases. Yeah, again, I did highlight it many times that most of the easy money in this rally has been made. And up here we are facing increased headwinds because the five wave move up could be technically complete. So if that wave is complete, we will really only know that if we drop substantially below 22,184, then we will most likely finally get into this area here between 20,360 and 17,560. That would be an area where we say we are coming down in an A wave, move up in a B wave and we'll come down in a C wave. That will probably take into April to play out. They are just time wise due to the length, how long that wave one took and the wave two normally takes at least a similar amount of time. Um, so it will take a bit of time. Now, we are coming down at the moment quite impulsively. So in this scenario, this currently could be the A wave that might hit the 38.2 retracement. So remember that level, we talk here about the 21,520 level. Yeah, so this will most likely also be the next support if we drop below the 78.6 retracement of 22,180, we're most likely going to find at least temporary support at 21,521. Because this could be an A wave down. We would then move up in a B wave and come down in a C wave. These are the two scenarios I'm following now. It's very clear, two scenarios. It's good that we don't have three. It's good that we don't have four. We've got two. That puts us in actually quite a good position. Yeah. Sometimes you have three, sometimes you have four and probabilities are rather unclear. Here it's very simple. If we drop below 22,184 and hold there, we are probably in this scenario. Yeah. I mean, in, in theory, anything can happen in these markets. Please always understand that. And things are still very much evolving at the moment, very much moving. I'm extremely happy that we finally see some movement here and get some progress in the charts. Um, it just means, you know, at least 
at least we move out of the current range, right? Because it is, it has been really, really boring. Um, and I, I'm just repeating myself in every video. But yeah, hopefully, hopefully you were prepared for uh, what's coming, that we have to be at least ready for a drop here and then have a chance to find support here. Now, if this level is failing, then we are probably coming down into this region, but that will take time. And there could be a chance to buy the A wave, to trade the B wave and then come down and see. But be careful with trading a B wave. It's extremely risky. So maybe only use a smaller position or a spot position. Anyway, we have five waves down here. So what about the first scenario? Because this is the imminent one. This is where we're currently still holding support. So I'm currently counting this as a wave with W down, a wave X to the upside, and then here an ABC down in a Y wave. Um, we have possibly seen the A wave, a B wave triangle, and then the C wave here to the downside. This C wave has five waves now. So we need to be ready. This could be, a, or it could at least attempt a turnaround. I would say it might be doing that right at the, at we, as we speak. It's just that this week, they, they do often get filled, you know, they do often get filled. Um, cause it was really just like on, on, you know, on a one minute chart, but again, it, it's a five wave move. So maybe this completed it. Now we won't really know if this was the fifth wave and that we are turning around until we really break above the wave four high. So if we now break above 23,270, it would indicate that we are reversing. Okay. Um, but until then the trend is still down and we need to be watching. Do we hold support at 22,842? If we lose that level, we've got 22,184. If that low, if that drops, then um, yeah, we're probably in this larger ABC pattern to the downside. I'm currently out of all short-term positions, got stopped out everywhere, either at a slight profit or break even pretty much, um, unless I'm forgetting something, but I don't think so. Um, but I've got my core positions, of course, still and all the long-term positions anyway. So, um, and this is what stops are for, you know, days like these. Um, cut your losses early. That That's typically what they are for, you know, and um, yeah, that's where we are, you know, and uh, it's good to have some clarity. Now we just need, and there will always be more than one scenario. So don't ever think you have only one scenario anyway. Um, key is to understand what are the pivot points. This is a pivot. I'm not too convinced this will hold. I'm telling you that very clearly, yeah, because obviously by breaking below the range, it has increased the probability that we are in the in the in the let's say in the larger wave two already, which I would I mean personally I would prefer that. Why would I prefer that? Because it gives us clarity, right? Because as we get into this support area, first of all, we can buy back cheaper, and in addition to that, this is the area where we will know with well you never know, but need to need to choose my words carefully, where we will know with certain certainty, well, we never really know, but where we can assume, yeah, if we if we get a positive outcome there and turn around in the green support area and don't drop below 17,562, that the bear market low was made in November. If we lose this area, however, we are going to continue with the bear market. So it's, it's pretty straightforward at the moment, the chart. Um, just be aware of these scenarios. Um, I'm currently still waiting. Yeah, I'm not jumping in, aping into a position at the moment because it could go down quite a bit further, um, but I will observe it a little bit. We're also heading into the weekend. Sometimes the weekend is quite slow, so maybe it can give us further clarity where we're consolidating. Um, but for now, I mean, we are, in the, we are in the support area. Anybody who's brave could attempt a, a long trade here, but I'd be careful at the moment because um, there seems to be still a lot of downside pressure and this wick is a bit annoying, so it could very well get filled still. This came down to 22,000. 540. I, I did post the signals on Telegram, uh, post the signal on Telegram that, you know, this is the next support here, 61.8 retracement. It might attempt a reversal from here. And then suddenly it, it moved up within, you know, 10 seconds, it came down and moved up again. But um, yeah, as I said, I gave you the key level that you need to be watching for a possible reversal. That would be the very first indication though. Um, at the moment, yeah, other than a candle here, which is unreliable because everything happened within 10 minutes or 30 seconds, actually. Um, we, we don't see too much, but um, if it turns around here, watch that wave four high. Yeah, that's my update about Bitcoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.